got you cold. Yeah. Hot water. Yeah, and the sink in here. Did Ooh. you build the whole thing by yourself? My friend did it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. how long? Three months? Two months? It took him, I think it took him three months. Yeah, 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 yeah two yeah. to three months. That's, that's on average, like two, yeah. three months. That's yep. Ooh, and he's been, uh, he was living in it for a couple of years. Can I go to the inside? Wow. Well, welcome on board. Welcome to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch movies here. Really? Oh, yeah. you actually can watch TV for me. Yeah, yeah, so there's a cable but just behind you there in that little box. Yes, you if do. You need water and you can cool down. Yep. So Sit under a tree. Yeah, but you just change your diet too. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You just change your diet. Yep. We have a um, siesta during the day now. We don't have any this appointments. This should be a part of our culture. So I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the new film on Netflix. It's called Social Dilemma, which basically talks about the detrimental effects social media has on people, on millennials nowadays. If you guys haven't watched it, you guys have to be on it. So it's interesting how a film like this can actually connect people in real life. Like we just met this guy from New Zealand. He was <laughs> he was um, driving his camera fan, and um, he saw me with a camera and a stabilizer. Release plate directly to the camera. Attach the quick release plate and through the camera lens and the arrow. Yeah, this is not making plate. sense. And then he got curious. He asked me about like. What am I doing here? <laughs> you know, I forgot how long have I been here in that camera fan. It's like half an hour. You know, he was talking about how his 15 years old daughter has this social anxiety problems, which becoming more and more common nowadays when social media enforces anxiety, enforces comparison between peers during these days. It was a bit of a nice talk. Like, it's the best way to start a morning. Go watch sunrise have a dip in the ocean and you know talking meaningful conversations like this so yeah it's been a good morning you know Enough. Look what I have found here. It's a didgeridoo. Look at this giraffe with the centre head. <laughs> Jesus, how cool is this place? Feels like better than the Byron Market. It's got that culture. Pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. It's easy. You can attach this to her drone, no? <laughs> <laughs> what if it runs out of battery? Hey, we'll just land on the ocean and 
three thousand bucks gone. <laughs> no, try with yourself. You fly with a drone like Doraemon. Put it on here. Hey, you got muscular. You see? Look at you. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I I never on the get way, this. On the way. You you you're not kidding, right? You wanna be like this. You wanna be like those those guys with oil painting. I wanna be this big that like where you need to throw your clothes away. Huh. Because it's too small. But that's another way of people showing their muscles, like tight, <laughs> tight t-shirts. <laughs> Just like extra small t-shirts. But you guys have to be 1.5 meters away. Oh, <laughs> then how can I take photo? Yeah, well, you go back then. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Japanese comedian. Mm. Oh. Yeah, see? <gasps> There's a huge story, you yeah. know. What is the story? This brings me nightmare. You remember, like, you're kidding, right? You <laughs> said. At first, I I thought he was acting because he always act. Like you just stand uh, there. Run. I cover. Good. I think I need umbrellas. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh my god! No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I start seeing his blood coming down on the lake. What like happened? couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah, and then his eye like this. So imagine these fans, right? With, without the bamboo, it's yeah. sharp. When he jump over it, is his tight go straight in in the middle of it oh my into the pool so the fence wasn't attached well yeah so the it fence struck fall yeah. over what are you doing jumping over the fence that's what to he get, does to get the soccer ball to shot cut who 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 kicked the ball over there <laughs> you? you right man seeing this guy again feels just like a dream to me a little more than a year ago we met at a farm in the middle of nowhere as you could imagine we basically saw each other every single day, we eat together, we sleep in the same room for 3 months. Well, that's the beauty of travelling, right? You start off as strangers from different countries, you then became best friends, and you never know when or will you ever meet them again. Go with the flow. Ah, don't tackle me! Ciao!